It was one of the most notorious New Hampshire crimes in the last 30 years. Kevin Paul pleaded guilty to charges connected to the murder of Epsom police officer Jeremy Sharon. He served 16 years in prison and, when released, he violated his parole twice, most recently in 2020 when he fled with his girlfriend to Texas. Yeah, I just wanted to um, recognize my responsibility for what my actions were. Like when I took off, I put myself and others at risk. Paul pleaded guilty today to a felony escape charge and apologized to the court for what he did. I was not armed or dangerous, but I was presumed to be, so I put members of the law enforcement community at risk. And um, that was important for me also in taking this plea that I understood that I did something wrong. When Paul was arrested in Texas and returned to New Hampshire, he was given what's called a parole setback, and it was significant. Prosecutors believe that he will be in the state prison until 2037. When Paul is released, he will no longer be subject to parole. But this new charge means that he will be under the state's thumb for another 10 years. He will have this three and a half to seven year sentence hanging over him. So the state continues to have some le uh, leverage over him and allows us uh, to hold him accountable for a conduct that he might commit after he's out. Gordon Perry, who shot and killed Officer Sharon, continues to serve life in prison without the possibility of parole. In Manchester, Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.